today wants to be the most personal bank or telco or retailer by 2010, 2012, 2015, 2018, 2020, 2022, and now 2025. But somehow all that changes is the year by which we want to achieve that. The customer experience doesn't improve, the complexity behind the scenes only becomes more difficult to manage, and the amount of money being wasted on new point solutions with a best of breed approach is very painful. Surely, there must be a different way to try and solve the one-to-one -one personalization problem. Let's be honest, most customer experiences aren't great. They aren't even good. Why is that? A customer interacts with you across a variety of channels. Email, SMS, push, in-app, search, social, display, web, mobile, branch offices, point of sales, ATMs, call centers, and much more. When you as an organization speak to that customer across those channels, the experience is very channel-centric. And while that channel-centric experience might be okay, the fact that it's very disconnected from the other channels leads to a poor customer experience. Personalization at scale means applying consistent, contextual and real-time personalization across all channels, and most brands today are unable to deliver on that promise, leading to unhappy customers and frustrating experiences. The ecosystem of applications that you and your organization are using is very complex and has grown in silos over time. Each application you use has its own database, its own profile store, its own definition of a segment, its own definition of an offer, and its own definition of a journey. So in reality, you currently don't have a single view of your customer. Instead, you have 10, 15, or maybe even more isolated views on your customer. One view per application, and the data that's part of each application is different and isn't being shared further. Most organizations are using the concept of sharing segments between solutions, but even then, that segment exchange is suboptimal and leads to a difficult process with various latencies, which means that the customer experience is never good enough. Offers and journeys are defined in point solutions and again, are very different from one application to another. So, how can you talk about personalization in that context? Designing and delivering one-to-one -one experiences that are real-time, omnichannel, consistent and contextual is impossible. So today, many brands look at the next acronym to somehow magically solve this problem. Buy a new tool, the problem will go away automatically. Or maybe not. The next acronym these days is the CDP, Customer Data Platform. When selecting and implementing a CDP, you really have two options. Either you do the same thing that you've done multiple times before and you get the same incomplete outcome, or you can consider a new approach. The first option means that you buy a point solution, CDP, and you implement it into your ecosystem, just like in the old days. You introduce a new application that comes with a new data store, a new profile store, a new segmentation environment, a new offer environment, and a new journey environment. And next, you try and connect as many other data sources to it, and you try and create a new single view of your customer, which in reality is maybe the 15th single view of your customer. And then you start exchanging segments again, just like in the good old days. Segments of thousands or millions of customers, which again, I wouldn't call one-to-one -one personalization. When you take this approach, you're doing the same thing all over again. And my mother always told me, if you always do what you always did, you will always get what you always got. So if you ask me, implementing a CDP like that won't help you get to one-to-one -to -one experiences, not today and also not by 2025. The second option is to position the CDP as a true platform layer, a real platform this time, that sits under every other application and that has the intention to remove the complexity that sits above. A real platform should be built to consume and replace what sits above it. It should remove siloed data stores by really removing them, and it should remove the 10 or 15 single views of your customer and give you one instead. And it should also give you an environment where every segment, offer and journey is defined just once. That environment is called Adobe Experience Platform, a real platform. Various application services are built on top of that platform that enable CDP-like use cases, but where you also have the ability to define one-to-one -one journeys, perform omnichannel customer journey analysis, and fuel channels like call centers, point of sales, branch offices, and more with the intelligence they need when they need it. But a tool is still only a tool. 
even the best platform in the market is still a tool. If you consider a tool as a magical solution and fail to take into consideration real changes across people and process, your new tool won't lead to the desired outcome of exceptional customer experiences. Your teams are quite siloed as it is, and even if you've already installed an agile mindset with cross-disciplinary teams, there's still a lot of room for improvement in general. Your teams need to be taken out of their silos and they need to be beamed down towards the platform level, where they need to work together on the holistic customer experience of your organization. The silo teams should then take their expertise and join that expertise with the expertise of their colleagues to define a single definition of the customer experience, which then leads to journeys being defined, offers being created, segments being created, using the profile foundation and the data store of the platform. And once that has happened, customer experiences will be designed for success and will lead to one-to-one -one experiences being delivered in a consistent, contextual, real-time and omnichannel way, online and offline, just like it should be. And then, then you'll be able to become the most personal bank, telco or retailer in 2022.